In this video, I'm gonna make the snakes and ladders work. So when you step on them, you will be transferred to a different position. And also to restart the game at the end position. So let's get started. So first to restart the game we need to reset x, y and is on variable. If you don't know what is is on doing, watch my previous video of this series snack and ladder. And the position of top left corner is 4,5. This is the inverted one so as you can see here. That's why it's not 0, 0 and is 4,5. As we have inverted the axis. So if the player's position is the last position, we are going to reset x, y and is on. So x, y equal to 0 and is on is going to be true because in the constructor we have set this dot is on equal to true. So it's working fine now. Now in the take step function after taking n step that means running this for loop, you are going to have the final position. So after our for loops, we are going to process the snakes and ladders. So first let's just copy paste this draw x calculation right here. We need this because this draw x contains the actual x and y of the player that we are drawing on the screen. That is after inverting the axis. This we will use to check if the player is stepping on the snake or not. Now we have used a for each loop on the list that we created on the snake. And in this list the lines are stored and each line has first point which has y less than the second point that means the first point's y is always less than the second point we have maintained this order now on our screens less y means going to the top the count of y starts from zero at the top and increases on coming down now as the snake's head is higher than its tail that means we are going to use the first point which is higher in position to check if the player's x is equal to the point one's x as you can see these are the heads of the snakes and similarly we'll check for the y draw y is equal to snake dot p1 dot y now after checking that we need to transfer a player to these positions so for that as we have used draw x and draw y to check the snake's position is equal to our player's position we will change draw x and draw y first and then we will propagate this change to this dot x and this dot y so the coordinates of the second points x and y will be the coordinates of draw x and draw y. Now as we were calculating draw x and draw y based on is on variable we will do the same let's copy this and paste this down. But here we need to do the reverse we need to set this dot x equal to draw x. So instead of draw x on the left side draw x will be on the right side. Similarly we will just interchange the draw x and this dot x in both the equations. And same thing with the y. So now we have changed the coordinates of the player. Now we have to reset the is on variable. So for that we'll just check if y is even. So if it's even it's gonna be true because initially when y is equal to 0 it's true and uh, when y becomes odd it becomes false. So this cycle goes on so whenever y is even it's gonna be true. So if you have initialized a variable to be false initially you have to set it false when the number is even and uh, true when the number is odd. Now let's try and run that. As you can see the snakes are working perfectly. Now we just have to do the same thing for the ladders. So let us just copy and paste this snakes thing directly below that and change the snakes to ladders. The difference here will be of the points. Where we use P1, we have to use P2 and where we used P2, we have to use P1 because ladders do the opposite of snakes. So this will make you go up when you step on a ladder. One more thing here, we don't have to use the complete if else statement. We just have to use this dot x equal to draw x because of the reasons unknown to science. If you know this, please comment down and tell me why is this happening? And now we are done. Let's save this and run. As you can see the ladders are working. So our snake and ladder game is basically completed. You can add many more things to this game. Drop a like if you liked this video. And also subscribe to never miss a video. Thank you for watching.